Hey everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, I am going to talk about the multitude of symptoms that come with DPDR and why it's in your best interest to try and really get down to the root problem rather than to focus on the symptoms. When you look through all the groups and forums and stuff like that, there's two main things that people talk about. They either talk about, I'm having XYZ symptom. Does this mean I've got this? Do you have it? How long does it last? And that type of stuff. And also, is DPDR possible to overcome? How long did it take you to overcome it? And similar threads like that. I do understand it is really important to get a sort of basic grasp on these type of things, but you really need to avoid the trap of going down the rabbit hole of just really concentrating on your symptoms. And I know that might be really, really difficult because they are really scary sometimes and they are really in your face and they are having such a big impact in your life. So for example, if you say things like, my hand's a little bit numb, what does this mean? You know, I, I felt something on my head, like a little itch or something the other day, what does this mean? You know, sometimes I feel a bit spaced out when I do this, what does this mean? Like if, if you're literally analyzing every little single thing about your body, then what you're gonna start to do is get into the habit of picking up every little single thing about your body. The reason that's a bad thing is because even before you had the DPDR, there was always sort of little niggles or weird feelings or weird thoughts and stuff like that, but you just didn't pay any attention to it. But now because you're a little bit anxious, you're a bit of in a heightened state. And also because you're just so worried that these things could be some kind of, you know, permanent lasting damage, have these effects on you, that now all these little things are having a really big impact on you. So my friends, please remember that it is really important to get down to the root issue of what's making you anxious or causing you stress or, you know, that type of thing in the first place, rather than trying to analyze and figure out and fix every single symptom. Because just from my experience of helping people and sort of just some of the stuff that, you know, people have just shared with me outside of sessions is that the way that they're getting out of this is just to start getting on with life and to sort of get out of the habit of constantly checking in, constantly analyzing, to really to focus towards the future for your goals. What do you want? All these sort of more positive, proactive things are much more likely to help you and actually, ironically, get rid of the symptoms because it's getting down to the root cause of what's going on with all this stuff. So my friends, even though it can feel difficult to just to start, you know, living life and, and looking towards the future and all that type of stuff, give it a go, see how you go, at least try it purely as an experiment and be like, well, hey, you know, I've been focusing on my symptoms for the last three months. Why don't I just try something different and see what happens? And I can almost guarantee you that if you do attempt this and if you stick at it, it is going to start to have a positive effect because right now you're in the loop going down looking at the symptoms, worrying creates more symptoms. So you've got more symptoms to look at. We've got to stop that loop and we've got to make you spiral up and outwards out of that hole. And the way that you do that is by focusing on the future, perhaps wondering what are you actually anxious about? What are you stressing about? You know, all, all these things, rather than getting really, really specific about a particular feeling or a particular thought that you're having. So my friends, I really hope this video helped. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And until next time, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.